Hello dentist, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Today we are going to talk about a new topic which is angular chelitis or we call it stomatitis. Uh, before we start our topic today, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Okay, let's start to know what is angular chelitis. It's an inflammation of the skin and labial uh, mucous membrane at the commissures of the lips. So it's found at the commissures of the lips means on the sides okay it's due to infection of the candida al albicans uh, staph aureus and or streptococci and uh, may also be cultured from legions there are other causes so it happens uh, due to when old patients uh, old patients wear uh, dentures complete dentures and it happens by or it occurs by time okay um, and it could be of other causes like iron deficiency, hypovitaminosis, vitamin B, uh, malabsorption like Crohn's disease, HIV infection, and other immune defects. Can you see here? It's found. It could be found in kids also uh, at the sides of the mouth. Okay, this is called angular chelitis. It could be due to iron deficiency, hypovitaminosis, which is vitamin B, malabsorption like Crohn's disease, HIV infection, other immune defects. This is really very common in our clinic and it also comes in exams. This topic is really important and we have to know it. I try to discuss all the important topics uh, in order to help you in the clinic. The difference between the angular chelitis and actinic chelitis. So we, knew, uh, we know now what is angular chelitis and actinic, what is actinic chelitis? And we'll know the difference. We'll try to find, to differentiate between both of them. Actinic chelitis is a pre-malignant lesion. Can you see it's a pre-malignant lesion or condition, condition in which the keratos, in which keratosis of the lips is caused by ultraviolet radiation from the sunlight. So it is due to ultraviolet radiation, okay? We call it actinic chelitis. We call it actinic chelitis. It normally happens in the lips. Can you see at the, here at the lips? While uh, angular chelitis is found at the commissures, at the sides of uh, the lips. Okay, this is uh, the site. This is the site of the angular chelitis, and this is uh, the, for actinic chelitis. And we know the difference in what is the cause. Uh, we know now this is that ha it could happen due to uh, complete denture wearing in old uh, in old patients, and also due to Kids, it's found in kids or um, any age due to uh, uh, malabsorption or uh, vitamin deficiency like iron deficiency, vitamin B, uh, okay, and HIV infection. So this is the difference. While actinic uh, chelitis is due to ultraviolet radiation from the sunlight and it, uh, it's a pre-malignant condition. This is a pre-malignant condition. What are the predisposing factors for angular chelitis? Okay, uh, this is really important because uh, it's uh, common in our clinic. Okay, and it comes a lot in exams. So it's due to wearing of dentures and having denture-related stomatitis. Example: old patients wearing complete dentures. Okay, uh, will um, will uh, have angular chelitis. Okay. Uh, the second co this, uh, predisposing factor is the nutritional defici deficiency, like iron deficiency. This could be in kids, as we said before, or any age patients with uh, uh, have iron deficiency, vitamin B, okay, and so on. The another uh, predisposing factor is immunocompromised uh, patients or have, uh, those uh, which are have an I HIV infection, okay, have uh, angular chelitis. Also, patients coming to the cl clinic with decreased vertical dimension, resulting in foldings of the tissue at the corner of the mouth, and allowing the skin to become macerated. Uh, so here, low or, or decreased vertical dimension results in folding of the tissue. So this will lead to formation of angular chelitis. Okay, let's know how it looks like here. Can you see now? This is the at the commissure. Okay, here this is called angular. Chelitis. It normally, it's now normally, it's normally found on both sides of the lips. Okay. Finally, we're going to uh, talk about the, the treatment of angular chelitis. So, what do we do? First of all, remove underlying any underlying systemic predisposing factors. Treat denture-induced stomatitis. 
uh, treat angular uh, stomatitis with topical antifungal, antifungal like meconazole or uh, fusidic uh, acidic uh, cream. Okay, so this is the treatment for angular uh, denture or angular stomatitis. Okay, uh, hope that today's topic uh, was uh, interesting and uh, have a good time and uh, it's very simple and it's a good uh, to refresh your memory with uh, some information